Ha ha. your fault. Shit. Recently, I started helping my friend Ryan help his friend Mo. Uh, Mo is homeless. Ryan passed by him a lot at the Caltrain on his way to work. And um, Mo one day asked him for a pack if he had a spare cigarette. Ryan doesn't smoke, but he said, uh, I'll buy you a sandwich. And from there, uh, he saw him a lot. He felt like he should help. He felt like he could. He had the capacity and the desire to help Mo. He gave his flip to Mo and said, hey, why don't you uh, take it around with you during the day and maybe talk to some of your homeless, some of the homeless people that you meet and interview them and it's kind of, it'll kind of be like a day in the life of Mo. Mo started taking these videos, which he would then return to Ryan, and Ryan would take a look at an edit and put online, and it just got really huge. The bigger issue, rather than Mo just needing money or needing food, is Mo needs a job. So homeless people, a lot of them want to work, but without having a permanent address, it's hard for a lot of these homeless people to get jobs, and so nobody wants to employ them, but then they can't make money, and so they can't get an apartment, and because they don't have an apartment and they don't have a home, they can't get a job, so there's this vicious cycle that they're caught in. That's where uh, the Catch-22 crew project comes in. We rounded up a bunch of homeless guys who wanted to do this, and we created work. We went to the Tenderloin, and we cleaned the streets. We saw some really weird stuff. There was poop, there were syringes, there was beer cans, beer bottles, glass, everything. Uh, we got together and we shared on a day of work. And um, then we shared some lunch together afterwards at KFC Taco Bell. Delish. It was really fantastic. It was a really great experience, and I feel like I learned so much from it. I was really um, struck by my own opinions about these people and how much I had judged these people and I had looked in contempt at these people. You know, we spent half of the day cleaning, and then after that, we went um, to KFC Taco Bell and just had lunch together. It was just really. It was really eye-opening for me. KFC Taco Bell is right next to this French sort of soul food kind of restaurant. There's always a really big line. There's one girl that I focused on in particular. Um, she was with her boyfriend, I assume, on a date. She gave Mo a really dirty look as he just walked by. He wasn't trying to get anything from her. He wasn't talking to her, but she just had this look of total disgust on her face as as he passed by. And I watched her and her her boyfriend pulled her closer to him as if he were protecting her from from this danger, right? And this there's this guy. It's just it's just Mo. It's just this really friendly, really funny, you know, a bit crass at times, but he was, you know, he was my he's my friend Ryan's friend. And she looked just, you know, like his presence was ruining her time there at this fancy restaurant that she was waiting to get into. And it really it, it really sort of struck me personally because I was that girl. I really felt like I was that girl that was giving dirty looks to people I didn't know and totally judging. I had been one of those people that just walks past, um, you know, a guy is asking for a change and I just automatically say no and I assume he's a crackhead and he's just gonna go buy some drugs or, you know, go do something really unsavory, but you have no idea where a person has been or what a person has been through and it is not um, for you to judge. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of homeless people in San Francisco who do have criminal records, who do have exhibit violent behavior and have mental disorders, right? But a lot of them um, are like you and me if we had nowhere to go. We live our lives like there's there's nothing else. We wake up, we drink our coffee, we go to work. That's our lives. There's so much more than that and there's so much more to interacting with people. I think that the important thing about uh, what we're doing with these homeless guys is finding the beauty in the mundane and finding the beauty in these, you know, trivial, se seemingly trivial exercises like cleaning up a street on the tenderloin. All Ryan did was buy Mo a sandwich and I feel like it's turned into so much more and it could turn into so much more. You can check out the website and donate if you're interested. It's, uh, I, I guess I can put like a little uh, catch22.com, check it out. As always, remember to subscribe to my channel and you can follow me at Raptor on Twitter. Cool, thanks. Uh, super make nasty. Why you make loving when the bitch call me daddy? Pimp no caddy, she wish she never had me. Treat her like a dog. Dog. Young savvy, bang like Cincinnati. Above average. Stop.